Hey guys, just doing a quick uh, video on how to make your Note 4 look like the uh, Nexus 6 from the inside, of course. Uh, hardware, you really can't change much on it, um, which is a good thing for this case at least because the Note 4 is uh, shorter and skinnier than the Nexus 6, so it'll be a lot easier to handle. And um, this is kind of like if you're still debating whether you should get the Note 4 or the Nexus 6. I guess maybe this will help you out. Everybody knows that TouchWiz is ugly, even I don't like it, but I love the hardware. So, uh, bad thing is, off the bat, you'll notice you can't change stuff like system apps, like the lock screen or the status bar icons, all that we're kind of stuck with. Uh, but as far as everything on the inside, we can change to make it look as you know near stock as possible. So, off the bat, what I'm using is Nova Launcher. <clears throat> I'm sure everybody's heard of it. It's one of the most popular... Um, Sys uh, home launch, home launcher. Sorry, um, I have the premium version, so there might be a few things in the premium version you can't do in the free version if you're using the free version. But off the bat, one of the main reasons why I like this uh, launcher is because it has gestures. For example, uh, as we all know, the phone is big, so your hands might not be able to reach the top. So you can just slide down the middle. You can set a gesture to slide down the middle and expand the notifications or if you don't want to go all the way up here to go to the settings you can just slide up and you'll go automatically to the settings and um, another one is to go straight into a Nova launcher you can just double tap and then it'll take you straight in there but while we're in here <clears throat> to get some of the things that look like 5.0 you can change the status bar to go with the white lollipop one uh, at times, I kind of like the Kit Kat one better, but you know, this is for the sake of making it look like that. And then we go down here into Drawer, and you can hit Transition Animations and go to Circle, which will be the 5.0 animations. On a side note, uh, if you want to make the drawer also look like the Google Now Launcher, you can set the grid to 6x4, which is what they use to get it to look like that. It's a 6x4. And then by default, the icons on the Note 4, well on TouchWiz in general, are kind of small. So on their look and feel, I changed the icon size to 120 to match the Google Now Launcher. Everything else I leave stock. Uh, heading back here, oh, also using the Lollipop uh, icon pack that comes w within the Nova Launcher. So uh, the width and the height margins, I leave them all at medium. It just looks better, a little bit more compact. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, in the, um, I'll try to post links, but more than likely, I don't know if I'll, I'll have them, but uh, I have the Google Messenger app, and let me go in here just to show you. I also have the 5.0 keyboard. Um, the Messenger app, you can basically just Google anywhere. Everybody's got an APK for it. Just Google, Google Messenger <laughs> APK. And the keyboard, is actually available anywhere now well not anywhere um, I got it off of uh, I googled it and I found the XDA site which originally you can only get it if your phone was rooted but now it's just an, a simple APK so you can just download it and install it um, uh, if you're wondering why the animations are going so fast I went into general and uh, about device in case you don't know most everybody knows now but you just hit build number until it gives you developer options hit developer options and just switch it to right here the window animation change it to 0 0.5 and everything will go uh, a lot faster I also have this running on art and I've been getting like six hours of screen on time about six six and a half I almost got to seven one time but I was on Wi-Fi all day so that's why um, but if I'm outside like on LTE, I typically get like five and a half or six So uh, That's pretty much it. I mean, I, I like the icons that big to look like the Google Now launcher But like again like system apps you can't change all that uh, I guess the only good thing is on the camera. We have a lot more uh, Features as far as the modes and all that that Nexus 6 won't have and also the, the camera on this one is very very good I think it's gonna be better than the Nexus 6 so at least you got that, but you know, if you're still tight about what you should get, I think the Note 4 is, is 
very very good choice considering that you can make it look like this you don't have to put up with touch widgets. you can make it look like this and you know and i'm pretty sure they're going to update the google now launcher when uh, when android 5.0 comes out so you can install that for the time being until the update this one the google uh the nova launcher because i wish the nova launcher would add the uh the feature of that white block in the background you know if you've seen if you have the developer pv you'll know what i'm talking about so there's a lot of stuff to be updated after november 3rd and you know i think a lot of people would still be happy with this one you know I, i'm gonna skip out on the nexus 6 and just stay with this one just because of the hardware and i don't know i mean android is android android is the reason uh android stands for you know freedom doing what you want so when you know when people say you're still in touch with sucks it's like okay so what you know i can make it look like this all right well if you have uh that's actually this google play store actually changed on its own which i'm assuming the google apps are going to update on their own too uh like keep uh google plus gmail and all that stuff so you won't need to actually be on 5.0 for you to get all that that will automatically all be updated all right that's it Doo -doo 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 -doo.